Okay, same thing as last week. Um, graph the inequalities. Y is less than or equal to negative 4x plus 6. So, then I copy that down. Then, what I do is I need to make my line, my dividing line. Okay, so, you want to label this M, the multiplier of the X, and this B. So, that slope, and then y int, y intercept. So the slope is the m, negative 4, okay, m, b. The slope is m, the y intercepts b, so negative 4, and then plus 6. You want to put a 1 under that negative 4. So I go to plus 6, okay, on the y-axis, remember this is y, this is x, you go to plus 6 on the y-axis, then from that point, you go down 4, right 1, okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1. Okay, then you take your ruler and make the line. Okay, now we have to pick a point to the side, and you go with either of the two points, it doesn't matter which one. Okay, I'll use this one. I'll go 2 to the right, and that's 3 to 2. Okay, oops, I'm sorry, I forgot to make my, oopsies, I forgot to make my x, y. My two coordinates. So I go to 3, 3 to 2. Then go back the other way two places, and you're negative one to two. Okay, so three goes in for x, and two goes in for y. So you have a two on this side, and over here, four, negative four times three is negative twelve, and then negative twelve plus six is negative six. So you have positive two and negative six. So here's positive 2, here's negative 6. Negative 6 is closer, okay? but the nose doesn't point that. That would be no, okay? So no. Now over here, that's the negative 1, 2. So we put negative 1 in for x, and then 2 in for y. So we take negative 4 times negative 1, that's positive 4. And then positive 4 plus 6 is positive 10. So positive 2, positive 10. Okay, so here's positive 2, here's positive 10. So positive 2 is over this way. And the nose this time does, the tip does point to that, so that's yes. Okay. So we color the yes side and... We have done it. <clears throat> okay, next one. Need two of these. And we have to make the dividing line. Okay, so I label this as M, this is B. Okay, so that's called the slope and the Y intercept. Okay, so the slope is 3, okay, it's always the M, and the Y intercepts the B, so negative 2. Okay, put a 1 under the 3, and we go to negative 2 on the Y axis, okay, the Y one, so here's negative 2. Then from there we have positive 3, so it's up 3 now, because it's positive, and 1 to the right. Okay, and that, oh, don't make three points, just two is good enough. I keep forgetting that. There is another topic where I make three, but not this one. Okay, two is good enough. Okay, so now we have to test two x, y points on one on each side. <coughs> okay, so let's go here. One, two, so that would be three to one, okay? 
then I'll go back. That would be negative 1 to 1. Okay. Okay, so I replace x with 3, and I replace y with 1. So I take 3 times 3, which is 9, positive 9. Then I take positive 9 minus 2, and that's 7. So these are both positives. So you have positive 1, positive 7. Positive 1 is closer than positive 7. Okay. Okay, so the tip doesn't go towards that, so that is a no. Okay, then negative 1 for x, and then 1 for y. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. So you have positive 1 and negative 5. Okay. So, positive 1, negative 5. Negative 5 is closer to the edge. So the nose does go towards that. That is a yes. So I color the yes side. Okay, y is greater than or equal to negative 4x plus, negative 5x plus 4. Alright, so, this is my m, this is my b, so I have to get the line down. So, slope, y-intercept. Remember, slope is m, y-intercept's b. So, the m is negative 5 and the B is positive 4. Put a 1 under that. So on the Y we have to get to positive 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Then from there you go down 5 because it's negative and 1 to the right. Just two points will suffice. Now we have to pick the side to color. We want to test a point on each side. So I'll pick this one. Sorry, I had a yawn. So it'd be two to four. Got to be like that. And then negative 2 to 4. Negative 2 is the x, 4 is the y. This is the x. Okay. All right, so 2 goes in for x, and 4 goes in for y. So we have a 4 on this side, then we take negative 5 times 2, and that's negative 10. And then negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. So we have positive 4 and negative 6. Negative 6 is closer to the edge. Okay. So the tip points to that. That is a yes. So this is yes. Then negative 2 goes in for x. And then 4 goes in for y. You have 4. Negative 5 times negative 2 is 10. Positive 10. Positive 10 plus 4 is 14. So here's positive 4. Here's positive 14. Sorry, that's written poorly. Okay. So positive 4 is closer to the edge. So that's going to be a no. Okay. Less than or equal to 1x minus 3. 
so. Got to get the dividing line down. So, this is M, this is B. So, slope, Y intercept. So, slope would be 1 over 1, Y intercept would be negative 3. So then, sorry, up one, right one, up one, right one, because it's positive. Now we pick the points to test. Okay, so I'm going to pick this point to go from. So that would be 3 to negative 2. And this way would be negative 1 to negative 2. Okay, so take the x out and replace it with 3. Take the y out and replace it with the negative 2. So we have negative 2. So 1 times 3 is 3, positive 3, and positive 3 minus 3 is 0. So there's 0, and here's negative 2. Negative 2 is closer to the edge than 0 is, and the nose does open towards that. Or the nose does, the tip does point to that, so that is a yes. Okay, so yes. And on the other side, negative 1 in for x. And then negative 2 in for y. One times negative one is negative one. Then negative one minus three is negative four. So negative two, negative four. So we have negative two and negative four. So negative four is closer. But the tip does not point towards that now, so that's no. So you color your yes side.